Good morning, I'm Jen Wall. Thank you for joining us. The Arizona Department of Health Services has just released new numbers on coronavirus cases statewide. DHS is reporting there are now 14,566 confirmed cases and 704 deaths. We're also getting a better look at how the pandemic has affected our state's workforce. The state says it paid out more than $519 million of unemployment benefits just last week. Now to put that in a perspective, the state paid out about 160 million the week before. The reason for the big jump? Well, the state is now administering unemployment benefits for Arizonans who are self-employed, freelancers, or independent contractors. Meantime, today in Washington, the Senate will be talking about the CARES Act. That's the big economic relief package behind the stimulus check you may have gotten. But today's hearing is because apparently a congressional oversight panel found the Treasury has not paid out $46 billion of relief funds that were set aside for the airline industry and national security. And this morning, President Trump is threatening to permanently pull funding from the World Health Organization if it does not, quote, commit to major improvements in the next 30 days. Now, the president has repeatedly criticized how the organization has handled the coronavirus pandemic. He temporarily halted funding to them last month. And a warning that Arizona might be reopening too quickly. New research out of ASU projects that COVID-19 infections and hospitalizations could skyrocket over the next three months. Team 12's Bram Resnick tells us why researchers say they're watching for a signal that it's time to pull back. Keep in mind, these aren't predictions. They're projections based on our behavior and other factors. If we behave badly, researchers say, the governor would have to act. Cool, the parents are gone, let's have a house party, is what it seems like to me. Two days into Arizona's reopening, and there's a warning. The party might not last. Some people are still behaving fast and some people are still behaving slow. It's the fast behavior that researchers say we need to watch. Hitting stores and restaurants with no masks, no social distancing could cause a spike in infections and put tens of thousands of Arizonans in the hospital. We still are showing a positive increase of testing and we're not seeing a significant slowdown in hospitalization. Here's just one of the startling projections in this new report by researchers at Arizona State University. If the pre-May 15th precautions remained in place, hospitalizations would be projected to top out at 30,000 in September. But under three different reopening scenarios, the number of Arizonans in hospital beds is projected to hit 80,000 from late June to late August. There are specific trajectories that will become or that could become alarming that would require us to take um, actions to limit distancing again. In other words, the projections could be flattened. I don't want to speculate too much about what the options are to do that. It's just you have to come up with something that reduces transmission if we have too much of it. The trend might not be clear for another four weeks, but researchers say Governor Doug Ducey could take action. Watching closely and acting quickly if you see a bad trend. In Phoenix, Bram Resnick, 12 News. All right, thank you, Bram. Well, we have some big news for football fans today. The Dignity Health Arizona Cardinals Training Center will reopen as part of a phased approach to getting back to normal. Teams must be in compliance with local health requirements and have implemented the protocols that were developed by the league's medical official. Now, those include limiting staff inside the facility to more, no more than 50% and cannot exceed 75 people total. No coaches will be returning, and as far as the players, only those undergoing medical treatment or rehab will be allowed in the facility right now. The season is scheduled to start on September 10th. And let's take another look at the new totals of coronavirus cases just released by the Arizona Department of Health Services. They have... They say that the new numbers on coronavirus cases statewide, and you can see them right here, DHS reporting there are now 14,566 confirmed cases and 704 deaths. Then taking a closer look at the numbers here in Maricopa County, according to the County Health Department, there are 7,409 confirmed cases, 325 people have died, 945 are hospitalized, and 265 are in the intensive care unit. And don't forget, you can always find the latest information surrounding the coronavirus and how it's affecting Arizona on the 12 News app. It's free to download if you have not done it already. 
Well, thank you so much for joining us for this latest update. Have a great day and stay safe, Arizona.